what if we reproduce the pump using um, the information and objects to tell, to tell that story, using that information to help us reverse engineer the artifacts. And this type of project, we are an expert, so we can make it an educational development endeavor. We can make it collaborative. We can make it public outreach. We, it, would, it could be a real partnership, and we could use it to engage audiences that we wouldn't normally work with. We had to reproduce the foundry pattern set, which no longer existed. We had to make new foundry patterns. So the pattern is what you mold off of to create a casting. We wanted this region to own this project, right? Okay. This is this is you know something that's you know that only Newport News is going to have. Ultimately, what we want to do with this pump is we want to be able to take it out to other places as an outreach tool. We can run it. You know. It's basically, not to be cheesy, um, it's like Colonial Williamsburg. It's living history that people can see, they can touch, they can interact with it, they can be like, you know, that's what we want to be able to do. You know, and because of the, through the conservation process, we have been able to bring this literally back to life, which people can see, they can hear, they can touch, they can smell, it's all there. You know, so it was a long project, it was a side project, um, you know, that's why it's taken over five years to do it, you know, but the, the, the ultimate goal was to be able to use it as a, as a way of outreach. We can take this to steam shows, we can take it to schools.